This is going to be a non-spoilers review of the HBO series The Young Pope, a full season series review. I don't know if we're getting another season of this show, I just wanted to go over the entire first season, or possible entire series, 10 episodes. HBO really knocked it out of the park of this series. I was really surprised how much I liked this. I'm not a big religious person, I do follow certain beliefs and things, and a lot of that may be Catholic. This really surprised me how much I liked it. Right off the bat, Paolo Sarantino, I think is how you pronounce the creator's name. He's the director, he wrote the episodes. His vision for this show was really, really well done. Everything about it looked visually stunning. The set pieces, the costume design, this felt like the Vatican, Vatican City. It felt real, it felt authentic. Everything looked beautiful, it was really well done. And that's one of the things you're going to like about this series if you watch it. And if you watched it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Right away, the way that he choreographs the walking scenes, the extended tracking shots, everything is beautiful. The sets are gorgeous. And this is coming, I'm pretty, I think he's an Italian film director, so he makes a lot of foreign films. And seeing that brought into this American style, even though this is filmed in a place that's supposed to be like the Vatican, it looks beautiful. Everything about it has this certain quality to it where it feels foreign but fresh. It's really sleek, it's really glossy, it's pristine. But, again, it's really beautiful to see. Everything with the visuals is gorgeous, the sets and all that. I think I read somewhere that the costume designer for this series actually worked for the Vatican and he made a lot of the clothes for the Cardinals and the Pope, so that's really interesting, that's really good. And one of the main characters of this show focuses on the young Pius XIII, that's not the character's real name, that's just who he is when he becomes Pope, and that is a character played by Jude Law, who knocks it out of the park with this character. I was super into Jude Law before I saw this. This just elevated him to a new level for me because his performance is so nuanced, it's so layered, there's so much going on. He starts off this arrogant person who you're just like, he's young, he's fresh on the scene as being the new pope. He's the youngest pope in history. He's only 47 and normally popes are up there in age. But seeing him in the show, it really elevates how good of an actor he can be. Especially playing this guy who we don't think is a hero. I would never call this Pope a hero. I, I see him more as like this antagonist to himself. He's his own self-destructive person. And how he got to be Pope, we don't understand until later on. People learn about certain things that he's done in his past. We learn about things that have happened to him. Something I am not going to spoil. There's a lot with him that he's done before. And he has this way about him where his ideas are modernized. But they're for an older type of generation and a younger Pope. He believes in all the homosexuality in the church needs to be abolished, taken away, but there's something about him where everybody just wants to be him. He has this idea about people need to come back to the church because of they're not believing in it anymore, not enough, so he he's this mysterious figure, and it's really interesting to see how he hides himself from the world, but the people close to him know who he truly is. It's really fascinating. This is a great character study for Pius the Thirteenth, or the character who we call Lenny Bellardo. He's really cool. Jude Law knocks it out of the park. He's the highlight of this show. There are some scenes of him where you're just like, I don't like this guy. And there are other scenes where you just love how arrogant, how cocky he is. And come to the end of the series, the last three episodes, we really see him come into his own as his Pope, as this religious figure that people follow and it's really fascinating. This show really makes you think about religion and how you view it. The way that uh, Lenny prays to God, the way that he talks to God, is really unique and it makes you think how do you view religion yourself, how you're going to pray, how you're going to act towards God. It really got me thinking about stuff like that. And one of the underlying factors is Lenny's always trying to find who his parents are. He was an orphan, this is not a spoiler, he's an orphan who lived in this, uh, I think, What's the thing with a nun? Is that still an orphanage? Well, he lived with this nun played by Aunt Diane Keaton, and Diane Keaton just crushed it. She was amazing. She really balanced out everything that happened with Lenny, with Jude Law's character, because she's this mother figure throughout the whole, whole thing in this show. She's Sister Mary, and I think they named her Sister Mary because of Joseph and Mary, and she's kind of this virgin, virgin thing that raises the Pope, kind of not really his, her kid, and it's really fascinating to see that. She did really good. Every performance she had in this, every scene, she stole it. She was amazing. There was nothing she couldn't do in this. She really played her character well. An interesting dynamic. And everything about her, the way she played off of Jude Law, the way she played off all these other characters, she always felt like she was the smartest one in the room and the most sincere one in the room. And I really just loved seeing her and her own in this. 
And there's another character in this, Voyello. He was he was this kind of supporting character, and I can't remember the actor's name off the top of my head, but the character of Voyello, he's kind of like the Pope's second-hand man. Everything with him, all his scenes are amazing, and I love the scenes where they don't speak English. I don't know the language they're speaking off the top of my head. It might be Italian, it might be something else, but it was beautiful, it was gorgeous, the way they talked, everything about the characters, all these side stories, every side character in this really felt fleshed out. We see these people who um, just they're just doing their daily things in the Vatican, and each of them had their own unique story and thing to tell, all adding in for everything that happened with the young Pope, and everything just felt so real. This felt real. These characters felt fleshed out, and there's this one character. Her name's Hester. She plays a really big part in the Pope story and how he never truly found love and happiness because of he's going to the church and that kind of thing. But it really helps him understand who he is and what he is going to do. Because deep down, Lenny really wants to help people. And that's really cool to see. It's This is a great character study. Like I said earlier, it's a great character study for anybody who's the Pope. Especially for this character played by Jude Law. This is a highly recommended show. I cannot recommend watching this enough. Every character is unique. Every character you see, you feel are real and passionate and real. This makes you think about religion. It makes you think about God. It makes you think about new things that you didn't think about before. And it really helps you understand religion as a whole. This is not going to be a long review. This is all I got for you. I highly recommend checking out The Young Pope. You're going to like it. It's 10 episodes, not long. It flows through really fast. And there's a kangaroo. That's it, that's all. Good luck.